What's up everybody, Curtis here and welcome back to Digibit Gaming. So with all the events that are currently going on, I find myself with more and more free time as I stick around the house and try to be safe. So what better to fill this free time with than video games? So I figured I'd compile a list of the top five games that I like to be locked down with. So starting out in no particular order, but it's just the closest thing to me, is Legend of the Dragoon on PS1. If you haven't played this game before, I highly recommend it. It's a really cool JRPG about a gentleman named Dart as he tries to find his parents or who killed his parents and kind of the, his past aligns with his future in a really cool way has a really unique battle system called the addition style combat where you have to hit particular buttons in a certain timing in order to maximize your damage. It's really neat, has a really cool story, and plus you get to, you get to turn into a freaking dragoon. How cool is that? But anyway, so next up on the list is probably my favorite racing game in the entire world and that is Need for Speed Underground 2. Now, out of all the Need for Speed games, this one's my favorite because it has an open world map. Uh, when I first started getting into cars, uh, it had a lot of my favorites on there. It had the 350Z, had the Hyundai Tiburon, back when I thought those were cool. And uh, like your Honda Civics, your 240SXs, all that neat stuff. It has a story, the story's kinda dumb. I just liked it because it had cars and they go fast. But anyway, it has a lot of customization and just different modifications, different race styles. Um, yeah, it's just such a good title. And that soundtrack they have in this game is just, ooh, ooh, it's just so good. But, on to the next one. So, what would be a lockdown without a good old fashioned Game Boy and a Pokemon game? So I have Pokemon Red. That's my go-to because that was my first Pokemon game. So it's kind of sentimental to me, but it's really neat. If you don't know what Pokemon is, you should probably get out from under the rock you're living under. Uh, it's really cool. You basically just catch little monsters and train them to be the very best like no one ever was to catch them is your main quest but to train them is your calls Ooh, ooh, that's cringy okay with that being said sticking with a handheld theme uh <laughs> and playing behind me is final fantasy tactics advance so what's really neat about this one is yes it's turn style combat but it's actually a strategy game so you move your characters around on a map kind of like chess and there's all kinds of different classes all kinds of different weapons um, it's very similar to the play style of the ps1 final fantasy tactics but this is a whole new story whole new characters and it's a lot of fun you start out as a young boy named marchi and uh, you're the new kid in school, your parents are recently divorced, which is oddly dark for kind of a children in game. But anyway, you read a magical book and you wake up in Ivalis, which is a magical world full of different races of creatures and different laws they have to abide by. And basically you just try to search out your friends and get back to the world that you know. It's really, really neat. Probably one of my top three favorite Game Boy Advance games. And if you don't have it, definitely uh, visit your local store and pick that up because I promise you it is totally worth it. Now, I kind of lied in the beginning. I saved my favorite for last and for a good reason. So the last game that I would want to be locked up with is Chrono Trigger on Super Nintendo. Now this is not a cheap game to come by, uh, by any stretch of the imagination. Um, even some of the repros are kind of running a little high, but 
if you can afford it definitely pick it up because it's a really really awesome jrpg uh, so you start out as chrono and you go to a fair that's kind of like a carnival that's going on in your local town and um, the adventure just strings from there uh, it has a, a fantastic storyline probably some of the some of my favorite combat on an RPG, at least for the Super Nintendo. And um, yeah, it's really neat. You can do different um, abilities with other characters. So you can use multiple turns at once to kind of do more damage, do more unique sort of abilities and spells and things like that. And it's really, really cool. They kind of shake up the uh, JRPG genre a little bit. Um, it's by no stretch of the imagination like revolutionary and mind blowing, but it's a really fun game. It's a really cool storyline. And yeah, if you can spare the coin, definitely pick it up because you will not be disappointed on that choice as well. So yeah. Basically, that, that's it. <laughs> uh, I just want to film like a real quick video just to like push out some content and get something to you all. Um, but yeah, these are my top five that, you know, if, I, if I'm boarded up in the house, like I'd have to have these to be able to survive. And, uh, but yeah, figured this would be fun. Thank you all for sticking around. If you liked what you saw, be sure to hit that like button. Uh, be sure to leave a comment down below. Let me know what your top five list is. I really want to see what other games are out there and what everyone's playing. So with that all being said, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.